Because he's making... It bit my foot! So I wanted to give you guys a tour of the venomous room because we get a lot of phone calls and right now we have a lot of venomous room and the room really looks good. Welcome to our venomous room. As you can see, it's meticulously clean. As you can see, every place you look, there is a stick, a pair of glasses, there is boxes for shipping. I was gonna show you guys a few things. Let's start over here. Those are saw scale vipers. By some estimations, they are the most dangerous snake on the planet. Why could you say that, Ryan? That's not a cobra, that's not a crate. Because saw scale vipers kill as many people in the world every year than any other snake. There's only a couple of snakes that are in that saw scale viper. There's a little crappy little snake that can kill you. This is a male spitter, we have not fixed out. Usually we have these perfect tags, but we're in the middle because we just got these into making them. Uh, there he is, guys. Look at that snake. Now, what's really interesting about these snakes is when you grab their tail, they take their tail and they, and they poke you with it. Now you see how we went under there? You always gotta be careful. Notice something. He ain't going nowhere from there. We've got this set up so he can't go anywhere. Oh, be quiet. You hear those cool noises he's making? It bit my foot! That was not nice, young man. <laughs> Beautiful animal. So watch when I grab the tail. Watch what he does with his tail poking me with the point of his tail just to make it fun. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Not my finest moment, but it'll work. I'm still alive. Now one of the other cool things I'm going to show you in the room, Eastern Green Mamba. These are babies and they're all nice and established and eating and... Hey guys, just so you guys know, he didn't really bite my foot. A lot of times with Cobras, they poke you. They go, mm, mm, mm. And that's what he did, so I was teasing him a bit. Now, any of you guys that have ever gone hunting out in the woods, in any of, uh, almost any state, you often see something that looks like this called a smooth green or a rough green. If you were hunting out in the wild, in, in South Africa, and you saw that snake, you wouldn't think nothing of it, but this, this snake is one of the, the deadliest, most aggressive, Easiest snakes to get bit by. Just an absolute marvel of God's creation. Look at that beautiful animal. Extremely very, 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 very hot. Look over here, guys. Uh, that's an Egyptian cobra. He obviously wants to come out and say hello. So we will, sh we shall oblige his misery. Uh, another one biting on the glass. What is going on here? So this is an Egyptian cobra. We just received these in as a shipment about a week and a half ago. They're super aggressive. They're very territorial. Most of the time, they're gonna bite the glass, they're gonna hiss at the glass, but then when it comes down to wanting to come out, and they don't necessarily want to come out. Now, now that you came into my house, you got to come out and say hello. Notice how they calm down immediately, because again, they're really super territorial. See how he's looking? What was that noise? I don't know what that was. Uh, what was that? <laughs> Is that you? Yeah. Egyptian cobras are known for their aggressiveness. They're not the greatest hooters in the world, not like a big Do king. Do not let go of that thing.
So this thing's only about two weeks out of the wild. We fattened him up, we hydrated him. We really made him feel good about himself. You notice how amazingly beautiful and just a majestic animal. Great noises they make. Just gotta love them. How do you not love a cobra? The stuff of folklore and myth. Beautiful, right guys? We're back in his cage. Watch him go right into his box. Leave me alone. And then we have one of our old ones, Satan. This animal's named Satan, but guys, you gotta understand that this is a spitting cobra that this is probably the fourth generation of Satan. We've had him, um, this is my black and white spitter. I've had him for years and years and years. He's just, just a wonderful animal. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, the question we often, we get, this is, this is an interesting, um, and if you're watching this now and you're a, a venomous keeper, you've heard this a thousand times. Why do you want to keep a venomous snake? Why would you want to have something in your house that can kill you? Give me a thumbs up in, in, in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. Because I want it. Because I want it. And it's America. And in America, you get what you want. As long as you take care of it properly, as long as you follow the rules, that's what freedom is. They're beautiful. They're amazing. So I've got this animal a really long time and uh, he's like fourth generation already. And I just love the black and white flex, the way he hoods, the way the potential for danger is always there. It's only about three, just over three foot. You can pet the back of his neck a little bit. Now again, do not do this if you, well, they don't have states that let you get anymore, but you have to be experienced and you have to know the animal. Otherwise you gotta be super careful. And you gotta always make sure that your angles are giving you the benefit of the doubt and not the snake. The angles that I'm using when I handle the snake are giving me the benefit of the doubt. Here, this animal will have to contort his body to bite toward me, so I'm careful. So don't go out in the wild, little guys, and see a snake and just decide you're gonna pick it up without knowing what it is or how to handle it. an old man already. Oh, you gotta see this thing here. So, as much as cobras are folklore, things of dreams and nightmares, depending on what it is, so too is the rattlesnake, where a lot of snakes are just kind of cool to look at. And man, I heard about an asp, I heard about a viper, I heard. And when you hear a rattlesnake, Watch this, guys. Don't tread on me. Just listen to that. That's music right there. Look at the bands and the striping. And there's that, that famous rattlesnake pose.
just beautiful animal, fat and healthy and gorgeous and stunning and you listen to that music for hours and never get bored. Just staring at him. The keeled scales and the black tail. You go up to Georgia, North and South Carolina, and uh, cane brakes and timber rattlers. They spread the countryside and they're so abundant. Unfortunately, there's still ignorant people that kill them for ignorance. You know, I understand you gotta protect your kids and your dogs, but most of them ain't bothering nobody. He's heavy too, man. This thing weighs about 10 or 12 pounds. So one of the species, or should I say subspecies of snakes, one of the species of snakes that's out there are what's called mildly venomous, where they have rear fangs or grooved teeth. And they're a great, most of, most of them are called boigas. I'm gonna show you the most famous of all the boigas also quite possibly the best looking. This is a mangrove snake. Now, if you notice, if you just get up in there, we have this cage set up really nice, very natural uh, leaf litter branches because they do live in bushes or in our burrow. We have a nice big deep bowl for them because they are also a, uh, uh, a highly um, humid animal. Now, the, the venom, on some of these snakes. Nice. The venom on some of these snakes ranges anywhere from uh, an, uh, uh, a bee sting to a trip to the hospital. But look at the black, the rich black color mixed with the yellow banding, the way when they stick their tongue out, can you get that? The tongue just hangs out there. Why would anybody want to keep one of these snakes as a pet? Because they're absolutely stunning. If you can look at the snakes that I've shown you today and not literally have your breath taken away, then you shouldn't be keeping them as pets because these things are impressive, just absolutely beautiful animals. Again, knowing your angles. Every time the snake was turning to an angle that was not beneficial to me, I turned his body. I never surrendered my hand. I'll show you guys a couple of other real quick things. famous snake, one of the more deadly snakes in South America called a fertilance. This is a very healthy young little baby. This is not mildly venomous, guys. Look at the bands, how faint red rust fades into a brown, the lighter brown surrounding the bands. Very alert, very aggressive animal. So there's a snake called a jumping viper and they got their name for obvious reasons, the description of them. But it's insane to see the thickness. Guys, look at this amazing animal. Man, that's a beast. 
Look at the color on that. Look at the purple and look at the size of the head as compared to the rest of the body. It's huge. You see the diamonding pattern down the, the back, almost modeled. Just a beautiful animal, man. They are not friendly. They do not like to be held. This might be gravid. Look at that animal, guys. Look at the peaches and the pinks, the burgundies and the reds. I hope you guys can pick it up on this camera. And just the, the sheer meanness of that animal's look 